wish you all happy uh, holidays for those of you that celebrate Christmas and a good week for those who does not celebrate Christmas. I'm Bob Sankari. Ukrainian saboteur killed by Russia at the border. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about President Burkina Faso Traore versus uh, Joe Biden. And Bill Gates declared next pandemic outbreak. All right? These are the, no, uh, the news that we're going to cover today. Your political news. Russian forces killed Ukrainian saboteurs trying to cross uh, the border to perform uh, their mission on Russian territory. These Ukrainian soldiers um, are responsible for many well-coordinated attacks inside Russia, which uh, destroy four key A-52 helicopters, uh, the best in the Russian arsenal, and two nuclear bombers. Um, they also killed Vladimir Putin's allied daughter in a suicide attack. And attacked Crimea Air Base. And Russian Federal Security Service may, uh, say that uh, they neutralized a group of uh, Ukrainian saboteurs trying to cross the border in the Bryansk region inside Russia on Christmas. Four saboteurs were killed and they alleged that uh, these Ukrainian soldiers were using uh, foreign-made weapons and improvised explosive device. Another group of uh, saboteurs were able to achieve the mission by uh, exploding a warehouse in the Russian city of uh, Novosibirsk. Meanwhile, uh, Russia says that uh, they destroyed several U.S.-made M777 Witzer that was shelling uh, Donetsk. Uh, Vitaly Klitschko, mayor of Kiev, says that uh, Russia's ma main objective is to kill all Ukrainians. And this winter, uh, reason why they are bombing energy infrastructures across Ukraine is so they can all die, so, uh, so all Ukrainians can die in cold weather. He says that Kiev is having a hard time without heat and water. And the work of the saboteur is, is due to the same things Russians are doing to them. It took Russia 14 years to be able to build 25 Kia 52 helicopters, and Ukraine already took out uh, a quarter of them, which is four. Ukrainian intelligence officials uh, were killed when trying to get into, into Russia to perform their mission. Russian planes will get new hypersonic missiles to fight uh, in Ukraine. Luhansk Oblast Governor uh, Serhii Ideal claims that Russian troops have withdrawn from Kremlin to Rebizny. He says, quoting the reports that our military has already liberated Kremlin, or at least advanced to its outskirts, are not true. But the fighting is going on near the, the, the city, and um, I can say that the command of the certain Russian troops that was stationed in Kremlin has, new, has now uh, been moved to Rubitsny. A Russian official uh, disproved Ukrainian uh, media his declaration that uh, Kremlin has been recaptured by Ukrainian soldiers. They also said that uh, this type of declaration is objective is to hide Ukraine, Ukraine's big losses on the battlefield. Russian command claims that uh, Ukraine has lost 60 troops near Kremlin yesterday, and they also suffer vast losses in Artyomovsk city in Donetsk. Russian Secret Service also says that uh, Ukrainian troops uh, from the 14th Mechanized Brigade have, uh, have been refused, uh, refusing to follow orders from the commanders around the uh, Kupians. Ukraine Air Force uh, claimed responsibility for explosion on Russian air base angles. They said that uh, explosions are consequences of the Putin's war in Ukraine. And the Ukrainian uh, Air Force spokesperson also says that uh, if the Russians thought that uh, this war would not affect them, they were wrong. Russian forces are probably preparing another offensive in Kiev um, to kill Zelensky. And it may come um, as early as January. Uh, many mercenaries from, the, from more than 30 different countries are fighting alongside Ukrainian forces. But there are also uh, many other Italians, Irish, and German fighters that are fighting in Russian forces. This war divided Europe and the world 
where the majority of non-Europeans support Russia and the rest are with Ukraine. The U.S. is forcibly trying to isolate Burkina Faso from the rest of, the, of Africa, uh, which pushes Burkina Faso to move closer to Russia and farther away uh, from the U.S. and the West. There is a growing pro-Russia and anti-West sentiment in Burkina Faso. Uh, Burkina Faso's military president, Ibrahim Traore, is working toward becoming totally independent from France's influence and the West, uh, which provoke anger from the U.S. and France. And now the U.S. is using the United Nations to force Burkina Faso into compliance by requesting the withdrawal of some personnel of the UN from Burkina, uh, which was uh, allowed by the United Nations. See, this is why it's very clear that the United Nations uh, works for the interests of the US and Western nations. They do not care about um, being neutral or fair. They will always do what, uh, what benefit the US and which many, many people are asking, uh, what's the point of having a global organization that's supposed to work with everyone's interests and maintain neutrality at the same time instead of uh, only working for the West. They are doing everything in their power to discredit Burkina, Burkina Faso and deteriorate uh, the image of the West African country. This U.S. move to force uh, the United Nations to withdraw some, uh, some personnel from Burkina Faso is solely aimed at um, making Ibrahim Traore, his military government, look bad globally, which is a uh, tactics the U.S. Uh, government uses all over the world in order to reach his objective. Mr. Traore has stood tightly against Biden pressure, and by deciding to expel the top United Nations official in Burkina, which has been uh, declared persona non grata, and told to leave Burkina in 24 hours. Traore says that uh, he's not playing games with the imperialists and Burkina's sovereignty is negotiable. Well, well done President Ibrahim Traore. I just wish all African leaders uh, would have the courage and love for the people as Burkina Traore asked for, for his country and stand, uh, stand against the tyranny of the West. Bill Gates and the World Health Organization have declared that uh, the next pandemic will be worse than COVID-1, and that is on its way. All right? They even gave a date for, the, for us to prepare, which is 2025. If you did not pay attention to COVID pandemic, you will unquestionably pay attention to this one, to this next one. And of course, um, they already have a date to release it, this new pandemic. So they can make uh, money, of course, of us, okay? I guess we are all stupid, but we'll see. Bill Gates, is, uh, in 2001, before the coronavirus pandemic, organized what was known as the Event 2001, uh, 2001, which was a third and a half hour pandemic uh, tabletop exercise that simulated a series of dramatic scenario based and facilitated discussion confronting difficult life dilemma associated with the response to a hypothetical but a scientifically plausible pandemics according to, to their opinion. During this workshop, uh, 15 global companies, governments and public health leaders were players um, in this simulation as a size which uh, highlighted uh, unresolved and real world policies and economic issues that could be solved with political will by um, by investing in this in this area. So they are doing it again. And Bill Gates um, and a partner like John Hopkins Center for Health Security and the World Health Organization they conducted another pandemic tabletop as a size, just like uh, the 2001 event 201. This one was organized uh, in Belgium. It's called the Catastrophic Contagion Event, which consists, consisted of 10 current and former health ministers and senior health officials from Rwanda, Senegal, Angola, uh, Nigeria, Liberia, Singapore, India, Germany, and Bill Gates. 
This workshop uh, simulated a scenario of the World Health Organization Emergency Board meeting and discussing an imaginary pandemic set in the near future. They changed the idea on how to deal with the new pandemic epidemic that started in one part of the world that then quickly spread and become a pandemic with a higher mortality rate than the COVID pandemic especially affecting uh, children and young people. Participants are contested to come up with uh, ideas to defend against uh, this new pandemic, okay? Here, here is my opinion, okay? Is this re for real? How did they know uh, that uh, we are going to see other pandemics like COVID-19, or they are just preparing for the possible next pandemic? Bill Gates uh, say that uh, there will be another pandemic. He just doesn't know when. Uh, let's watch uh, this video where uh, he's explaining the video. Uh, the video is called The New Pandemic. Okay. Officials in two Latin American countries alerted the WHO of several outbreaks of a new infectious disease that's mysteriously appearing across the region. Severe Epidemic Enterovirus Respiratory Syndrome 2025. Over the past six weeks alone, there have been 500 confirmed or suspected cases reported. The virus could cause a severe pandemic if early containment and mitigation efforts are not successful. Pandemics are inherently political, financial, and so much broader. WHO needs to be a voice for the voiceless. No one is safe until all of us are safe. As of today, there have been an estimated 1 billion cases worldwide, with more than 20 million deaths, including nearly 15 million children. Countless millions are alive, but left with paralysis or brain damage. The most successful countries are those which invested in preparedness and trained for this moment years in advance. This included having full-time pandemic preparedness and response teams, which conducted detailed operational planning and routinely tested those plans through exercises and drills. If more countries had participated and heeded the guidance, the toll might have been much less. You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time. You say the next pandemic, there will be another pandemic. Absolutely, we don't know when. You know, the risk per year, 2%, 3%. Uh... See, it's very important for, for each one of us to question things, to be skeptical, and to make sure you trust nobody. At the same time, be open-minded, because it may be true. But let us have a respectful conversation, if you wish. Tell me, tell me in the comment section, what do you think about uh, this topic and what's your opinion, all right?